The imposing three-story building across the street was erected in 1891 by three partners. One of the investors was a local Masonic lodge, which has used the third floor continuously for more than a hundred years. If you look up, you'll notice several Masonic symbols on the building. Jacob Klossner, a hardware merchant, used the ground floor for his store. But the most prominent among the investors was the law firm headed by John Lind. There is a bit of irony in that while New Ulm's heritage is German, John Lind, a native of Sweden, is its best-known political leader. When the Masonic Hall was built, he was finishing his third term in the U.S. House of Representatives. Lind had an independent streak, politically and personally. He began his career as a Republican, but broke with the party in the 1890s, swayed by the populist rhetoric of his friend, William Jennings Bryan. In 1898, he ran for governor and won by a narrow margin, ending 40 years of Republican control of the governor's mansion. When word of Lynn's victory came across the telegraph wires, a crowd gathered in the street in front of the Masonic block while a band played a serenade to the new governor of Minnesota. Lights illuminated every window of the building and overhead fireworks lit the night sky. But Lynn's independent streak made enemies, notably Harry Black, the editor of the St. Paul Dispatch newspaper, who ran column after column criticizing the new governor. When Lind narrowly lost his re-election bid two years later, his first act was to march down to the dispatch's offices to confront the editor. The two had a heated exchange when suddenly Lind reared back and punched Black, knocking him to the floor. This was pretty remarkable because the governor had lost his left hand in an accident as a young man. As a New Ulm newspaper noted, he led with his right, for obvious reasons. The Masonic block was designed by Mankato architect Frank Thayer, who had completed work on Lynn's home only a few years earlier. Thayer designed many prominent buildings in southern Minnesota, including the Park Hotel in St. James and the Murray County Courthouse in Slayton. Both are listed on the National Register of Historic Places. While you were in New Ulm, I encourage you to visit the Lind home, which is still standing on the corner of Center and North State Streets. After he lost the governor's race, Lind continued to stay active politically, serving again in Congress from 1903 to 1905. To the end of his career, Lind remained a maverick, independent, and fiercely committed to his principles.